center field. Kiermaier will watch this one go a long way. Oh. Oh, that's when it's hit the that's a home run. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Angel in the Outfield. This is going to be episode number 18 of the series. Um, the last video ended up pretty good. We finished with five upgrades to the squad. We had three guys that we had to fill out with silver players before we could use two for golds. So let's go ahead and see who we use to finish out the silver aspect of Angel in the Outfield. We needed to use our three silver spots on starting pitching because that was the only area of our team where we still needed to fill them out. So the first guy you guys suggested a lot is 75 overall all-star Steven Wright. And I wonder why you guys wanted to see this guy. Is it because, oh, let me guess, he's got a knuckleball? Yes, the knuckleball sinker, four seam curveball change up. Look at the pitch speeds up here above my head. You can see what really is going on with this card. You're not gonna use the four seam fastball effectively. You might be able to use the sinker a little bit, but really, if you land on this guy, the knuckleball is going to be what you're using. Maybe you're throwing the curveball every once in a while, but overall, Steven Wright is mainly used for the knuckleball. Clear. Then we also picked up rookie CeCe Sabathia, 76 overall. He's got a four seam, a curveball, a changeup, and a two seam. You can see the four seam tops out at 93 to go along with the two seam. And then the curveball's at 79 with the changeup being an 81. So nice differentiates, or what? Nice different speeds of pitches. Um, 80 stamina, 77, 84 hits in case from Ryan, 74 velocity, 84 break. At face value, the card looks pretty solid in terms of the hits per nine and the break, but the uh, walks per nine and the control are both pretty low so if you land on this guy and you're starting a rotation you're really going to have to execute pitches pretty well hopefully we can do that and the last silver that we added to the team is going to be Garrett Richards from the Los Angeles Angels. So uh, Richards has a four seam, a slider, a two seam, a changeup, and a curveball. His four seam gets all the way up to 97 with his curveball being at 78. And he's got 87 stamina with 78, 67 hits in case for nine, 90 velo, and 93 break. He is playing down on the day down to a 76. Um, so the per nines are not as good. So hopefully I don't land on him today. But he kind of has the same sort of issues that C. C. Sabathia has where um, the walks per nine and the control are both pretty low so if you don't land on him in a game it's probably not going to work out very or if you do land on him you have to execute I don't even know what I was trying to say right there so those are the three silvers that we added so after Garrett Richards boom the entire team is made up of silvers let's go see who our two gold upgrades are not a lot of surprises here guys Gary Sanchez was one of the most requested cards in the comments if not the most requested card in the comments for golds. I mean, there's not really much to say about Gary Sanchez that hasn't already been said. I mean, he's got 72, 87 against righties, 67, 92 against lefties with 52 vision. He's also got 84 arm strength. The fielding isn't that bad at 46. I mean, it's not great, but the arm strength is fine. Um, he's even playing up on the day against righties with plus 10. So he's playing up almost to a diamond. So Gary Sanchez, pretty easy pick right here. He's going to be our starting catcher. The other guy that you guys recommended is going to be Justin Bohr, the 81 overall gold 2017 all-star card from the home run derby. He's kind of a similar card to Gary Sanchez in terms of the hitting. Good contact against uh, righties with decent contact against lefties. Good power against both sides with middle of the road vision. Um, the only thing that's different really is the fact that his fielding isn't as good. He doesn't have as good arm strength. I mean, the fielding's better, but the arm strength is trash. Uh, but that's okay. You don't need a guy to have a great arm over at first base. As long as he can feel, uh, feel the ground ball, hopefully he doesn't have any trouble with the vertical or the lateral movement going left and right. Um, yeah, he's going to be a really solid left-handed bat. Good power. So now taking a look at where everything is going to fit in the team, the changes that we made. So since Gary Sanchez went to catcher, we had to move Kyle Schwarber out of there. So we moved Kyle Schwarber to left field. So Schwarber is still in our lineup. And then Justin Bohr, we moved him to first base, which means Cody Bellinger needed a spot. So we moved Cody Bellinger to right field. So that now means that Reese Hoskins and Michael Conforto are now on the bench. Um, so yeah, they're, they are not going to be in the starting lineup. They are going to be used strictly as bench bats for the rest of the silver upgrades. So overall, the team looks pretty good. We have really, really good hitters on this squad. Um, the pitching is going to be getting better, uh, starting to get into the gold. So that is going to help us out. Um, one thing I want to mention to you guys is... I'm going to keep the theme going of every time we rank up a full tier, we're going to increase the runs per game needed for an upgrade. So we started off just base level. We needed five or more runs for an upgrade. Once we started upgrading everybody to bronze, 
pieces, then we needed six or more. Now that we've gotten the entire team to silver and even some golds in there now, we need seven or more runs in a game in order to warrant an upgrade. So five or six? No, no, no. We need a seven spot to try and get another upgrade. Other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and jump into a game. This is actually going to be the first game of the new rank season. Let's see how we do. Okay, we're going to be at home. We're taking on the Colorado Rockies. Uh, this guy has an all-diamond team. Let's go. We're facing Madison Bumgarner. We're facing Charlie Blackman, Barry Bonds, Jose Ramirez, Nolan Arenado, Chris Davis, Sean Green, Dante Bichette, and Chase Utley. We did land on Steven Wright, so that knuckleball is going to be in play today. By the way, this is my first game with a brand new controller. I went to Best Buy maybe 20 minutes ago and picked it up, so uh, we'll see how this goes. You know, I haven't, I haven't broken it in yet. <laughs> first at bat, Charlie Blackman gets a hit the other way. Come on, Schwarber, get the ball, bro. Is he really getting a triple on the first at bat? Of course he is. That's just the way it has to go, right? There we go. Got his creative player to strike out. That helps. I <laughs> got him again. Jose Ramirez down looking. Oh, man, I feel like such a D-bag, but you guys chose him, not me. I have to listen to what you guys say. There we go. Come on, DeYoung. You got to make a play. Come on, come on, Paul. Come on, Paul. Get it across. Oh, he made the play. He got Nolan Arenado out on a web gem. Here comes Mike Trout, guys. First at bat of the game. Hopefully, he'll be able to get a hit off Bumgarner right here and try and... Uh, try and get this game off to a good start he's been good lately I've been hitting a lot better in Angel in the outfield with Mike Trout lately so I'm hoping to continue that theme into this game right here we're already in a hitters count at 2-0 he's gonna give me another ball right there 3-0 I don't like walking on the first at bat with Trout it seems to kind of make things harder going into the second or the next couple at bats and I just swung 3-0 on a curveball and popped it up are you kidding me I'd very much like to see this PCI I mean, I guess I was off on it, but man, that's frustrating, dude. 3-0, and I just can't... Yo, I cannot not pop up today. This is the second ranked seasons game I've played today. All day, it's the same thing. Just pop-ups. There we go. There we go. All right, that's what we needed. You got to base it up the middle. Paul DeYoung on with two outs. All right, come on. Let's get something going here. Kyle Schwarber, we got a fastball in the inner part of the plate. Get over his head. Oh, let's go! 63 speed. Ah, he's ah, he's not going to get there. You got to stop. You got to stop. Really would have liked to uh, score on that. 3-1 count to Glaber. I would just walk him right here. If you're not, like, you got literally the pitcher on deck. Yeah, I knew he was going to do that. Got a fastball, but of course, the pitcher has to be up at the plate in that situation. That That's just unfortunate, man. I That sucks. Yo, Blackman tried to go the other way again. He might be safe on this, though. Yo, uh, Blackman is my nemesis today, apparently. He's stealing on the pitch. Probably a good decision. Or maybe not. Maybe Gary Sanchez is going to hose him. Let's go, man. He thought he could run on the knuckleball. Not with Gary Sanchez back there. Here comes Mike Trout for his second at-bat of the game. If I get something to hit early in the count, I'm, I'm letting loose. I do not want to get in two-strike counts with Madison Bumgarner because he's he, his breaking stuff that slider to me looks like a fastball so I really I, I really want to uh, try and take advantage of the count early oh he did not need to die for that bro he did not need to die for that that is the first hit for Trout so the hitless downgrade is gone I'm gonna try to take off right here guys I'm gonna try to steal this base he gave me a breaking pitch he's halfway there easily let's go Mike Trout stolen base that's an upgrade Okay, that's fine. Gets Trout to third base. It's basically a bunt. Now we got two down, though. Intentionally walking Gary Sanchez to get to Pedro Alvarez, I think. Is that our next hitter? Yeah. Not, not a bad move. Not a bad move. Pedro Alvarez up the middle. Ah, didn't quite get it all the way through, man. Another opportunity with a runner on third or in scoring position. And we just can't get the runs in. But both times, it's been super unfavorable matchups. Like, had the pitcher up with the bases loaded. Pedro Alvarez, Pedro Alvarez up lefty lefty like just hasn't been in good situations Paul DeYoung yes there we go finally he left a slider hanging over the plate we didn't move our PCI in a bad location we got the no doubt shot over the left center field wall it is now a one to nothing lead for the Cougars and Angel in the outfield 
Glaber Torres through the left side. There we go. There we go. All right, now we got our pitcher up again. Really, Madison Bumgarner, you can't get a bunt down? Here we go. Through the right side. Yes, yes, yes. Stay at second. Stay at second. I was going to try to go to third, but this is first and third for Mike, or first and second for Mike Trout. I don't want to run myself out of an inning. He's got me down 0-2 with two really good breaking pitches. And Mike Trout gets it up the middle. No way did I get a hit on that. Yo, that's some cheese right there. That is some cheese right there, honestly. That was a crazy pitch that I got a hit on right there. L let me see this location. Oh my god. I am so sorry. I, I, I feel so bad about that, but it's an upgrade. <laughs> oh, he threw it away. This guy's having a nightmare inning right now. He is having a nightmare inning. Oh my god. I feel so bad, man. I just feel so upset for this guy. Ball forward to Justin Bohr. Gary Sanchez up first and uh, first and third. Intentionally walking Sanchez to get to Pedro again. I, I do not put that decision past him at all. That's that's I would do the same probably. Pedro out. No, 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 no. We're going to be safe. We're going to be safe. My God, I'm telling you, this guy's having a nightmare inning. Like that would have been a, uh, a hit up the middle anyway. But still, the fact that this guy can't catch a break at this inning, just uh, I just feel for him, dude. There you go. All right, wait. I'll, I'll take a four spot, bro. Paul DeYoung got two at-bats. We literally batted around in the fourth. There you go. Starting off the fifth inning. Pretty much doing the same thing he did to start off the first. Base hit down the line against the shift. feel like if I'm going to throw a knuckleballer, I should turn off the shift all the time. Ooh, there you go. Good, good hit. Good hit. Cody Bellinger makes the catch at the wall. Oh, and he left too early. He left too early and couldn't tag up. Bad base running. Got Bichette swinging on the knuckleball. Let's go. Let's get Utley and get out of this. And that is a ball in the dirt. That is strike three. A tough game for this guy, dude. I, I really feel for him. I have a feeling a rage quit is coming right here, chat. Yep. I knew it, bro. That was... That was... That's a frustrating game of MLB The Show right there. I, I Every break went my way. I mean, think about it. You go up against a knuckleball pitcher. You have Mike Trout get that hit on a ball basically in the dirt. You have, you know, that error throw at third base. Like, that That guy just had so much BS and cheese going against him. I, I feel for him, man. I've been there. All right, so that means that we got the win, which is an upgrade. Mike Trout got two or more hits, which is an upgrade. And then Mike Trout stole a base which is an upgrade. So we got three upgrades on the game. Remember, I don't add an upgrade if it's a rage quit. If I win, I win. That That's it. So here is my starting rotation. Here is my lineup, as you guys know. Here's the bench, but don't worry about the bench. And then here is the bullpen. So make your guys' picks down in the comments. Let me know which three guys I should add. I need three gold players anywhere on this team other than the bench so let me know which guys i should pick up should i go after offense should i go after relief pitching or should i go after some starters let me know what you guys think down in the comments but anyway i'm gonna call it here guys thank you for watching this episode of angel in the outfield drop a thumbs up on the video if you did enjoy it subscribe to the channel if you are new and i'll see you guys in the next one peace